Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here for a Hello Lovely unboxing. I'm so excited for this. Um, I believe this is the Creeping On You box, uh, which was their like one time Halloween spooky edition box, which I'm so excited. I'm just gonna open it. Let's get into it. Um, look at this cute tape. Look at this cute tape. We've got our little Skelly girl with her messy bun, which I am matching today. Um, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to open this. So let's just get to it. Oh, but I need to actually slice the sides. Okie dokie. Presentation. Black squiggles, white tissue paper. Um, I think this is the only thing that is not a part of this box. Let me open this real quick, actually, before I get to um, this box. There was something that I ordered separately that I think she just shipped in this box, and I think it's this. So I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure this is the mug that I ordered. Um, let's take a look. See, yes, it's clear. Um, and it's the epitome of me. It says fuck mornings on it, and it has a happy little rainbow. Basically, these clear mugs give me so much joy. My coffee this morning, I had it out of the fuck this shit mug. I just, they speak to me, okay? Like, I just love super cutesy, artsy, clear coffee mug moments with vulgarity on it. It just is the perfect balance for my life. So this is not technically a part of this box, but I ordered this for myself because it's so cute. It is so cute. Okay, so we'll just put that there. Um, okay, let's get to this box. Let's see. First thing. Okay. We've got a red, we've got a red item. I'm going to pull this out. I'm guessing this is a big old tote bag because I'm seeing handles. It's folded up nice and tiny. This, oh, ooh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Back it up. Um, look at the skull and the roses. This is very simple. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even fold it down. Buying books like I'm immortal. Yep, ain't that the truth, because I'm going to film a book haul immediately after this video. It's been a big uh, book accumulation season for me. Um, so this, I really like this because it is a zippered tote bag. Um, and I like the zipper ones. These are usually the ones that I actually bring with me, like on vacation or to events or whatever, just because you can seal it up. I use bags like this also for like when we take a road trip, I put snacks in here. I don't know why I need to tell you guys this, but the zipper ones just, they just help. It keeps things from rolling around in your car. This also opens up very large, so you can fit a lot of snacks in there. Okay, um, where, where do I display things? Hold on. Okay, yes, sure. Okay, I folded it down so it at least fits on the shelf. Um, let's see, oh, it's a popcorn. Oh my God, they gave me snacks. Thatcher's kettle corn, San Francisco style, the ultimate popcorn, gourmet popping corn. <gasps> you know, I was just talking about snacks and I feel like I spoke this into existence. It's called manifestation, folks. Uh, popcorn. Really excited. Okay, can you fit on the shelf? Yes. Yeah, cool. I love snacks. Ooh, we've got a ton of chapstick and it says creep it real. Um, and this is minty fresh fang breath. So I'm assuming this is just a minty chapstick. It just has a lovely moon. Quit focusing on my face, man. It's got a moon on the on the little label. Um, yep, just mint. Uh, wonderful. This is the time that I start replenishing my chapsticks because I let them all melt in my car over the summer. So good timing. We have a little vinyl sticker. I'm gonna need to zoom in so you guys can see this. I'm assuming this is going to be a clear sticker where like this shows up really well. I feel like I might put this on like a thermos or something, but it says creepy girls read and it's two uh, girls reading in a coffin and I love it. That is what that looks like. Look how cute it is. It's got some black fuzzies on it from the squiggles, but it shall not affect the sticker. This is cute. Okay, next item is a pouch that says Better Red Than Dead, which I believe this is also available on shirts. If you go to the Hello Lovely shop, um, this repeating line uh, style is available on a shirt, but it is a black little pouch. Now, as y'all know, I use a lot of these. I use them for my diamond paintings and craft supplies. I don't know what that says about me as a cool person, uh, but I'm gonna claim it as cool because look at this super cool pouch, right? Yeah. We are down to the books and I just saw the one sitting on top and I am dying. This is a book that got very popular very quickly out of the blue and I've been nervous to read it. I am going to be honest with you. I've been nervous to read it. It is Morning Glory Milking Farm by CM Nescosta. Nescosta? Um, 
<laughs> this cover is super cute. I'll put the regular on the screen. Um, this is a short book. It's actually longer than I thought. I thought it was a very short novella. This, I've heard great stuff about it. Like the people who read it, I feel like a lot of people went to read this ironically and ended up really liking it because I think they identified with like the struggling millennial that is our main character in this book. I'm pretty sure it's about a girl who is a struggling millennial is having a really hard time getting a job. Um, and she goes to work at a centaur farm. I want to say it's a centaur. Minotaur? Something like that. Minotaur. And it's a milking facility. Take that as you will. Um, as somebody who works in the agriculture field, I've been a little leery about picking this up because I don't know what images it's going to put in my head for future, um, things that I have to do in real life. You know what I'm saying? So I have been super intrigued because honestly, a lot of my friends have read this and ended up really liking it. But you know, there's a part of me that just holds back a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so this is book one. Let me take it out of the plastic. So it is in fact signed. It says a Cambric Creek monster romance. So that's going to lead me into the second book that is in this box, which has a gorgeous cover. It is A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon. I just read this this month. It was great. It was an experience and a half. So this one is also signed and both of these are custom fancy covers. Um, I will also put the original cover on the screen in case you guys want to recognize what this book is without... This looks like Dracula. Like this looks like a really cool version of Dracula. I'm gonna be honest. Um, so I read this just because this is like a quintessential reverse harem. Like I feel like if you get into reverse harems, this is a book that you just have to read. Like it is an OG reverse harem that I feel like everybody has to go through like the rite of passage of reading. Um, so that isn't new to me. I've been in the RH game for quite some time, but as far as like historical feeling, it's not historical romance, but it reads like historical. It's very much like a period time. Um, and as far as monster romances go, this was somewhat new to me. I've read a couple monster romances, but like this one was just, this one was a blast. I'm going to be honest. From page one, this book is just smutty, smut, 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 smut. And it was glorious. And I loved every page of this book. Um, so I'm very excited to have a really cool version of this book on my shelves. <sighs> Get ready for monsters in your bed. Uh, they're not lying. They are not lying. So this one was great. Oh man, I ran out of room, but uh, you can't even see the bag there. So those were the books that came in the Creepin' On You box um, and all of the items. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much to Hello Lovely Box for bringing so much joy to my life on a monthly basis. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will have Hello Lovely linked down below. I'm wearing one of their shirts right now. Um, there's just endless endless festive romance reader joy over on their website. So the website will be down there if you want to order anything from them. And there's a discount code down there for you as well. Um, so you can save some moolah. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one.